Hey guys, welcome to episode 31. Now, last episode I said I was most likely going to do the ruins and I was going to um, figure out what I'm doing in that area up there. Uh, in the end, I finished the ruins and I was just about to start the museum, so I said I'll start recording and show you how I'm going to make that. Not museum, um, library. And as you can see, there's the library. And also, the ruins are done. And instead of putting a statue there, I made an extension of the tower. And you'll see why in a sec. Um, just because to get the scale of this, or to get the size of what I really done down there, I'm going to walk down. And here's the entrance. And what? What are you doing here? Oh, they're moving again. That's weird way they actually stay there. That's cool. <laughs> um, here's the entrance, as I just said. And you come down here in this gravelly cobblestone pot. Go underneath ha. Wait, is, is all my settings right? Moody and is light on or off? Yeah, cool bins. Uh, I wanted this to be overgrown and just... Most people came up with the idea that it's going to be ruins of their old, their old settlement or someone else's settlement. There's a ruins for someone anyway. So here's the entrance as you go in. As you can see, I mixed up all the blocks. Lots of cracked and crappy buildings. Everything's really bad and destroyed. I don't know what half these stuff were meant to be because I just randomized it all, really. I was like, hmm, what should I do? Like, towers up there, other stuff up there. Um, same here. Like, I was, it looks like this could be a tower or something big. There's loads of stuff like that. And then, as you can see, big guy holding up the mountain. And I wanted to make him, I did not want to detail him a lot because I was starting to. I was starting to put features in the face and stuff. And I was like, no, no, I am. I want to make him, want to make the thing look just cracked and destroyed and just covered in moss so you can't even see it. So it's like, it's sort of a, like a faceless statue or giant or something. So it kind of, oh, it kind of fits the theme of this place that you've, we've no idea who ruins these are yet. So... Let's say they're some ancient race and we built above them. Or maybe the land was this low before and there was none of these mountains here. Or maybe there were mountains and this was a really good strategic location or something like that. Till like something happened and the land started to change and stuff. Oh, that's weird over there. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> So that's why I sort of made him look like a faceless, faceless man or giant. I had um, um, leaves going around him and he's like, to make it look like he had some sort of um, skirt or something like that on him or whatever those things are, Joe, the, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Uh, when they're around him, but I accidentally got rid of it and I was like, it actually looks better without it. So I'll give you a better look at him now in a sec. <clears throat> but literally you can just walk around this whole place. It's really cool. It's I tried to get. I didn't try to overflow with trees and stuff, but um, I think I just got the right amount. As you can see, look, it's all really cracked and destroyed and really crappy. And see, this was obviously a path before, and all the path has sunk, and everything is just. Or maybe you know this could have this city could have been up here, you know, uh, could have been at that height before, and then because of something happened, the whole land sunk and everything. Some st some things stayed the same and the rest just got destroyed, you know, and then see this land down here was flat before, but it all got destroyed. So maybe that's a good idea. I think that would be probably the best. And then, I don't know, maybe that makes more sense that he's trying to hold up the land, you know, that sort of thing. So, I don't know, maybe he's like a stasis. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making up stupid shit now. But, um, I think it's turned out pretty well, actually. I like the way it is. I haven't made... I, didn't, I never really made ruins yet and obviously these are these could be this this could be a lot more well done like I was going to build a whole city down here and then just go in there and destroy the whole thing with TNT but I was like oh excuse me I was like there's no point I'll just end up wasting my time really so that's really it and then of course there's lots of other stuff over there that could have been something that isn't anything now but that is the giant anyway and the land is coming down on top of him but if you look closely actually that's where he was separated. That la I must have put that there by accident. But you could see there and you could actually distinguish between his arms and stuff. Because the... Let's see what this looks like in the default texture pack. Actually. 
Oh uh, yeah, I see you now. See, look, he's <laughs> all the rocks like, sticking up. It's weird. Oh shit, where am I getting rid of his crotch? I don't know why that's there. This. That could be me doing some sand action and turning it into. Oops. But, um. Yeah, that's the sort of big giant thing that's completely overgrown right now. See, there's more things where things could have been and more down here. Might add a bit more to this to make it just a tiny bit more detail. But right now, I'm actually happy the way it looks. So I don't know if I actually will change this back. Because <clears throat> everything looks better in this texture pack. This is actually like the best texture pack. I don't care what anyone else says. It's actually the best. <laughs> well, my version is anyway because I've changed it a bit. But I think this is the best. That With this map anyway. So that's really the ruins. That's everything that I've done with the ruins. I terraformed the land a bit more to make it a bit more flat. I added um, different trees and... Uh, added a bit more flooding and first I did I got rid of all the trees because there was way too many in the way I couldn't build so I got rid of every single one of them and then I just built the whole city down there like all the ruins and stuff I built the path and then I used the randomizer to randomize all well the the percentage thing to randomize all the blocks and um, <clears throat> it, it went from looking like a very clean city to like a perfect gravel path to like looking like this it's such, it's so well done the, um, the single player commands plugin to be able to do stuff like that. I love it. Uh, if I couldn't do that, it would have taken so much longer. Like, this took me about an hour, I'd say. Maybe a bit... No, actually, maybe a bit longer. Hour and a half or so. Do this. And then I started to do that, but I was like, ah, sure, I might as well show that. But that's pretty much the ruins now. And so that's this area covered. I covered this area. I was going to put something here, but I was like, if I put anything here, this tower's in the way. I was like, it's totally pointless. So I made the tower expand out here so it looks like a watchtower. And you know I was saying like I don't know how to release this map and something. I don't know like I'm, I'm still coming up with ideas on how to. And I don't even know if I'm going to release it yet. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But you know I, I don't know. I might even make it my spawn for my new. Uh, when the, um, I change my map. Be really cool. I don't know. I really don't know. But it'd be, I, I'm just thinking in my head you know. There could be uh, when, I, when, we add, when we're adding quests in soon. We could have NPCs down here, or NPCs in here, and one of the daily quests in order to get money is to come down here and kill X amount of things down here, or, you know, in or travel to the ruins and find something or do something like that, you know? I, it's just all in my head right now, because this place is just ripe. It's so, it's such a good place for an RPG adventure or something, because there's so much. There's like so much here you could um, do. Now, obviously, there's a lot I could do a quest, and I haven't really thought about it yet. And this is all, again, as I said, it's all, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, but I just want to let you know that that's what I'm sort of... That's what I'm thinking about at the moment. But anyway, let's get to the library. So, I still am unsure about what to do. I'll get rid of all these places. I, I think I might... I don't know. I don't know. I said I'll get delete it, and I said I might keep it. Or I might just flip it around and put the sword in the ground instead. But, ugh, it's complicated. Like, the only, the things I really said I have to do on my checklist is to make this library do the inside of the citadel. And I've done this whole place. Except, of course, add NPCs. And I think as well, to, like, finish all this off, if, whenever I am or whatever, I will have a cool cinematic with, like, NPCs and fighting and stuff and such. But, till then, let us make the library. Let's do this now. Let's bring this up. I don't know how high it's going to be. I'm just testing. I think that's a good height. I hate doing this sort of thing. Um, but I, I don't really have a theme as well or uh, an idea for this library yet because uh, it's easy to make a library, but when you make it into something that's already here, you know, like this land, um, it has to fit in within this size or this city or this limit you know <clears throat> and i think i have to make it too close so i'm going to bring it back to here instead because if i do the roof it's going to be squished here so let's bring this back oh shit what happened oh no oh no there we go and there we go but again, like I like I said in the old like like I said in the last episode, I don't want this turning into someone else's spawn area. I don't want that. It's as simple. I I feel like it deserves a bit more than to just be used as someone else's spawn area. 
Because, like, it, it, the thing is, I don't mind when people do stuff like that. Like, my old map, you can do whatever you want on my old map. Because, I obviously, it's it's my old it's my old stuff. But because this is so new and um, I'm still going to be working on this to for whenever, you know. I don't know when, when I'm going to stop, as I said. But I don't want this to be just, like, wasted like that. And, like, people are, like, saying to me, oh, I'll give you credit and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, that's all fair and good, like, but the likelihood of people coming into the map and going, oh, my God, who made this? Or, well, yeah, the likelihood of that is big, but the likelihood of them knowing it's going, knowing it's actually me is pretty slim, to be honest. People will be like, oh, I'll put up signs, but <laughs> nobody reads signs. That's why on my server I tried to, I got rid of a load of the signs in the, on their spawn location on the ship. Because it was just too many. I I was getting light-headed looking at all the fucking signs, you know. And I, I, I'd rather have it very limited. And if people, I'll give a very brief description on the signs. And then um, after that, then you'll, uh, I'll say, like, go to the forums and uh, if you really want a, uh, an in-depth guide sort of thing. But um, I really, I might, I don't know, I might turn this into my own server spawn location. Cause people keep like people keep saying to me, "Oh, make your make a server." I'm like, I already have one. People are like, "Make a mine." I like, I already made a mine for this place. Make like this that, and I'm like, I've already made all of them. <laughs> you clearly are brand new, but most of those people obviously are brand new, as I said. So they need to go back and watch old stuff. But um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But uh, kind of wanna this level a little design, a little design. And I'm pretty sure it's going to... It so is, so I can't do that. Yeah, like here. And then... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Replace. A4. Did I replace anything that I shouldn't be? Nope. Let's see what this looks like now. Oh wait, that's the level of that, so it shouldn't... Or that's the level of the steps, so... And I'm asking it to replace something else, so it should be fine. Sweet! So yeah, we, we'll have to wait and see again. I, I'm still in the... Deciding what I'm really going to do. I, I don't really want to use cobble here. I haven't used cobble in anything. I think here, this would be cool. Or will it? I don't know. I don't know. But this is the level of this, so I'm going to do it on this level. And Jenga of ha. And then the Jashem ha. Jericho. Jelly good. So again, I have no idea what I'm really going to be doing yet. I'm just, um. Oh shit. I'm still sort of deciding. But for the people who are on my server as well, um. <coughs> when is the server change thing coming I don't know it's it's most likely going to happen when 1.3 comes out that's when it's probably going to happen till then we just have to wait and people who people can just keep building and doing whatever they want till then but yeah I, I, we have to wait till the update comes out hopefully it comes out soon because I really want to start changing over because our world is getting big again fuck's sake and our bloody, it's all because of the stupid mistake at the beginning. Like, if I knew, if I knew about world borders, if I, if like, I wish someone had told me at the start, peep, there's a form of griefing where people run to the other side of the fucking world and make your world size huge. So if it just fucks up everything for you. And I'm like, if someone just told me that at the beginning, I would be so happy. But no. So, well, that's why this has to be done, so... If we didn't remake the map, we <coughs> the map would uh, be unplayable after a while. Ooh, yeah, you, you need, yeah. This is yeah. I like this size. I'm gonna have the door here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's where I want it. <laughs> and I want to win, George. I want to win, George. Um, to win George. Where do I want to win George? I don't know where I want to win George. To win George. Maybe put the windows here. Oh no. 
Um, and then do something like oh no 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 the no this maybe like these are the windows. Oh funky! I like them. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna put the windows. And <laughs> I am running out of time again because if I keep doing this, I'm gonna go into like if I if I record this whole thing, it's probably gonna take me about. It's going to be about half an hour video. So I'm going to stop, do a bit more details, and come back when I've added all these windows. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing the, um, the ceiling. It's actually, the roof, it's actually very, very easy to do, surprisingly. I, I felt usually the roofs are the hardest part. Oh, shit. What is that? There we go. Cool. Um, I'll show you now in a sec how I'm doing it. It's very, very, very easy to do. I've just sort of found my technique now of doing um, round ceilings and they turn out very well actually. So there's the outside of it now. I did all the things across the glass panes and um, the I added the flags and then the roof. I have to just sort this a little bit out here. So all I done was I used stairs for this part and then I used half slabs for the for to connect the stairs all the way over to here and then when it reaches the middle I just invert it and go this way then and then for the top along here I did half slab full block half slab full block half slab and then full block again and literally it's that the whole way up no I wouldn't connect them like that I'll show you now what I mean uh, sick I wouldn't do this I wouldn't connect them like this because it just it actually adds a bit too much hassle um and like if i did this for instance if i did this then the half slab would have to stop here and then go around here like this and then if i did the next layer it might do some interesting design but i'm not i don't want that design right now i just want the one where it's cuts off cuts like this like that but you could try it um uh, if someone is making something like this if or if you're doing something and I feel like this is a very sort of Roman style roof um, because they're very they have all very round buildings I feel I feel like they do anyway and I think this would suit them pretty well my nose is so itchy jeez no um, so I'm going to finish off this roof and I will be back hey guys I ended up finishing the library so here it is it's a bit tall but I actually like the way that is and this sort of building suits the suits really well into this maybe it could be a bit lower but I actually liked how high it is um, so I finished up all the got all these fucking paintings but I figured out the cycle command I bound it to my R key and I can just cycle between them so much easier uh, someone said that in the stream but I can't remember his name but I looked more into it and I found out exactly how to do it so this is Basically, it's pretty hard to do a library because libraries are usually very boxy buildings. It's hard to sort of make them in a curve, but um, the best I could. And I added some more s flags around here, added little chandeliers, cobwebs, and a th top supports. Um, a little, little, uh, <laughs> little ladders. So you can just climb up and be up here for whatever reason. Or you can jump down here and be here and be like, oh, look, books. Right click and whoops. Um, and then, of course, you can do the same over here as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add any more to here, like secret doors or anything. I don't think I'm going to add them for now. Uh, if I was ever to add stuff like that, then I would. Like, there's no point in really adding, adding, adding secrets and stuff like that. Um, unless it really did become um, a spawn, a server spawn for myself or I made it as an RPG map. You know, that's the only reason I would start putting in the secret stuff. I won't be putting in stuff like that um, again unless that happens. So, a quick recap. Finish that off. Didn't finish that little part there, but I actually don't mind that as much as I thought I would. So, I'm going to leave that the way it is. So, we finished all this part. We found use for this empty area so it's been done as the ruins um so yeah if you like the way this turned out you want to see more please like the video especially if you like golem man and uh <laughs> um i think that looks very odd 
or not very odd it just sticks out a lot more than most things but i i want those things to stick out the things that i actually deliberately spend a bit more time doing and that as well so again if you want to see more please like the video and i will see you guys in the next video which i will i think i've done like almost everything i wanted to do so so far except the citadel i've done everything else so yeah see you guys next time oh cool i've never seen one of these midget things Fucking <laughs> Look at these little legs. This is so weird. Oh, another one! Did I make a weird sound? Whoa! You must be scared of me. If I hit them, did I make weird sounds? Oh!